hello everybody and today we're going to be looking at finishing up our j game and how we can upload it to gamejolt.com so i've made a few changes to the game i've changed up the colors i've changed up the font and i've added just a little i've added some more extra dialogue and different paths that you can go so i want you to do the same thing I want you guys to change up your game. Maybe add some more text right here. Like I did. I've made a bunch of different branches. And for me, I've had all of them ending with death. So kind of grim, I guess. But I guess that's how it's going to be for now. So, yeah. We have the basic game ready. And we're all ready now for us to release it. So what we need to do is we need to go to game options. And we need to go to Windows, since we're only going to be having this on Windows. Or if you really want Mac OS or whatever you want to do. So we have the display name. We're going to need to change this. This is, this is what will appear on the little window, like right here. Like it says right there. And then we need to actually name the game. This will, this will be the executable name, so textbase game dot exe and company eh, we can just leave all this but and uh text adventure game and then we'll want to leave we'll leave this it won't really do anything so actually we should probably apply these changes and okay so here we go we have the display cursor on and we have all of these off. Keep aspect ratio, sure. We should just keep all of these the same. They don't really matter. And we have an icon here. We can change it, but I'm not. I'm just going to leave it how it is because it's not really a big deal to me. So, okay, everything's ready. So now that we have the game basically ready, all we need to do is we can export the project. Or we can just press right here, which allows us to create the executable. And we're going to want to package as a zip because no one likes installers. We just want to zip. And then we need to save the files that we're creating somewhere. So I'm just going to find myself a spot to put this for now. Um, what episode are we on? Episode 5? Say yes. So now once we save it'll quickly build us what we need and then right here we have the files we need so yeah perfect now if we go in here we can exit out of game maker and then let's export it to the desktop and let's run it so yeah the game works perfectly as we can see so we have the files here now, but we want we want people to be able to play this game. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to gamejolt.com, like I'm doing right now. I'm logged into my own account, but basically let's go to my game. So here's my game I have, and what we can do is I believe we can just go to packages and then we can add a package so first you can create your own game on gamejolt.com so I'm gonna do game um, text based game release um, public free and then, yeah, sure, let's make this the primary package. So now all I need to do is add a new release, which is where the actual file is. And then that's, I'll just have it set like that. So we're going to want to go to, yes, around here. And the five. We want it to be the text-based game.zip. Because we need to have this data.win file and the exe. So we can do Windows, Windows 64 bit, and publish release. 
Okay. So once that processes, then we can download it and... Okay. So I'll just delete these files for now so we can make sure this works perfectly. And open, extract, and okay, let's see if this works. So yeah, it'll try to protect the PC because it thinks this might be a virus depending on your firewall, but you can just skip that and yeah, the game will work. So look at that pretty cool people can download your game now so well thank you for watching that's how to have your game completely set up and finished and yeah so now you have a basic game